godlike. God, those motherboards look sick, and welcome back to game number two of this best of three between Signature Trust and Mineski here in the MSI Sea Dragon Battle number two, guys. Cast here by Ever. You can follow me at Hey Ever on Twitter. I am a part of Erasmus TV, and uh, well, we are casting this game on Dota Talk TV for those guys. Uh, yeah, so game number one did go the way of Signature Trust in. Um, I want to see a, say a quite convincing fashion because they really did look very good in this in that game throughout the 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 whole of every pretty much every um, altercation there was. Uh, now some of you guys might call me a fanboy of one team or another. Uh, in this case, trust um, that's fine. But uh, fact of the matter is that trust just had some really really good plays that game and well I mean that's all it really boils down to and well hopefully hopefully we will see Mineski come back here in um, in this game number two because I really want to see it go uh, the full length here, the full stretch I really want to see them take three games to actually find who will have to go up against in against uh, TNC in the losers bracket finals yes correct which will be tomorrow the 10th day of the MSI Dragon Battle um, but yeah that is going to be a whole nother story for tomorrow so guys yeah really let's uh, let's hope that and Mineski wins this one so we can see a a uh, full Duke outage here between these two teams <laughs> I swear to god I really need someone to bounce these really bad puns off of like I need someone to laugh at me that's like, I need to either be the one who laughs at Maker or the laughing stock if it's Sander or something. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, you'll just have to settle with, with uh, laughing at me in the chat, and then that's how we'll settle this one. <laughs> All right. So, uh, trust Mineski. Let's see what's, what's going to happen here. Undying, Queen of Pain, be bent out by Mineski. Bloodseeker, Earthshaker. On the side of trust, a really good support, a really good core. Bloodseeker is scary. We did see that to he play. Y'all saw it. Um, Leshrac, Shadow Demon, going to be picked up by Signature's Trust. Um, so that does mean that we might see my pro on a Leshrac. We'll have to wait, though. Not really sure who will be that player. Um, Shadow Demon, most likely going to be picked up by Femao because we're probably going to see a 4 support next up. It's highly unlikely that uh, Shadow Demon is going to be a farming support um, of any sort. So, uh, And usually Femao plays those uh, really like kind of almost 6 support, six uh, role supports, right? Um, but yeah, they won't be able to find uh, the Wyvern pick and neither will they find the Tusk pick here. And this is actually a really scary combo here, I want to say. Uh, Wyvern and Tusk. These two are very, very scary heroes in this current metagame here. And, um, well, the thing is, they just have to build a team around Wyvern and Tusk here right now, Mineski, and hope that most of the heroes they... Uh, they want doesn't get banned out because the thing is right now whatever Mineski is doing has probably been figured out more than what Tus uh, Trust is doing because that is the more meta thing right now Tusk and Wyvern um, and Lestrac is really uh, is 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 really Lestrac is really popular as well and so with the Shadow Demon in conjunction with Lestrac I'm pretty sure Mineski knows what they want to do which is do some uh, maybe it can be like a four support Lashrak here that they do like a roaming support right disruption into Split Earth. That's nothing new or anything. But if that is the case, it supports. That is supports, right? It is not the case. The same case with Mineski because here it could be like a core tusk and a support Winter Warren, which says a little less than what Trust is picking up right now. So that's just the kind of things going on right now in this current um, draft here. Um. Alright. 
So, Storm Spirit picked up for J, probably. And we're maybe going to see the uh, core for my pro as well next. Oh! Radiant oh, I like that. I like that. Nanchong Mao Chuao, if anyone speaks Korean. Um, no, that, that looks good. So we will either have a Lashrak core or a Nyx core here. Um, because both can actually be comboed together with the Shadow Demon now that Nyx does not have the um, Impale on targeting, but points uh, based instead. So, uh, yeah. Could be both of them. Although I'd be really much more happy about seeing Nyx as the core because that means we might be able to see like an Aghanim Scepter on Nyx Assassin. That would be so funny. Um, but yeah. We'll have to see though. Um, Gigabyte Mineski with a Dazzle. So it is definitely going to be a Tusk core here. And this is interesting. So we have two very defensive uh, supports for Mineski. So they're going to be really aggressive with their cores here right now. Expect a lot of damage out of the last core as well, I think. Well, Anti Mage. So it might be some 4 plus 1 shenanigans here, coming out from Trust, with Lakellas on the anti mage just pushing around the... Pushing around the, uh... The map here, um... Oh, God damn it. Sorry about that, boys. Uh, there we go. Um, alright, so... Darkseer gets banned out by Trust. I like it. Phantom Monster gets banned out by Mineski. That's a better ban, I feel. That would have been a lot of damage here. Up against this lineup, for sure. It's really scary. And also, Phantom Monster is one of those heroes that can really support themselves um, in, in a uh, prolonged team fight more so than any other course because they have that doppelganger um, right and it's hard to find the correct one as well with the illusions um, and yeah on top of that they have dazzle with shallow grave weave um, heal uh, we got win winter we're in with uh, cold embrace and so on and so forth um, the shadow wave probably gonna be um, yeah there we go I mean uh, that was pretty that's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, the Phantom Lancer is a good... Uh, if anyone is playing Guild Wars 2, PvP, Mesmers, anyone? Fuck that class. That class can go... somewhere very obnoxious that I'm probably not going to be allowed to say on stream. But whoever... like, If you're a Guild Wars 2 player and you go Ten PvP Mesmer, remaining. you're a shitter. You're a shitter. You're a bad player. <laughs> Remaining. All right. So, back to Dota, I guess, <laughs> and uh, to the last pick here in this draft. As Trust will be looking to find a uh, uh, a core of some sort, um, maybe an off laner or a mid. A mid if it's Lesh core, an off laner if it's Nyx off. Did I say that correct? A mid if it's Nyx off lane. Uh, no, no, no. A mid if it's Nyx core and a off lane if it's a Lesh core. There we go. That was correctly stated. <laughs> God, that was a that was an um interestingly convoluted sentence, but oh well. Alright, so let's see. They have ten seconds here. Ten seconds remaining. Mm-hmm. We know. Okay, and Kunka. Radiant team pick. Oh that is interesting. All right, so uh, it will be the second Kunkka in the MSI Dragon Battle. <laughs> Someone in the chat stated uh, that this is the fuck your mana lineup. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I can't get behind that. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. So as the last player picks up his... Hero on the 
Side of Mineski. We'll switch over and go into game number two in this best of three between Mineski and Signature Trust. Now, guys, this is this is the game to determine who goes into the top three and potentially gets into the money. Um, second place will go into uh, a five hundred dollar prize pool finish, and the first place finisher will. Uh, get fifteen hundred dollars, which is very nice, obviously. And well, that is uh, a lot on the line here, guys. Hopefully, Mineski takes it to a third game, so we can see even more great Dota. Obviously, we have a very short day here on day number nine. So, uh, day nine. Anyone Starcraft? No. All right. Uh, so we'll hope for a game number three so we can get some more action here. But yeah, that is about it, guys. So on the dire side of things, it is going to be Hehe <laughs> on the offlane Nyx Assassin. I can't wait to see this. My pro is going to be on the mid with the Lesh. Fame out on the Shadow Demon, as I said. Together with Jab on the Kunkka. And last but not least, this is going to be this Lakel's anti-mage that allows this 4 plus 1 play. On the Radiant side of things, as we hear the bells, the whistles... The trombones, everything, whatever you can find. It is going to be Mineski and well, Jay is going to be on the Storm Spirit. Jules on the Drown, the safe lane here. They're going to be supported by Owa on the Winter Wyvern, as well as G on the Dazzle. Missed it uh, just a bit here, the uh, the block here, but that is just fine. Last but not least, Jesse on the off lane here on the Tuscan. Well, actually, they're going to find Jay, or should I say Fei Mao, actually. He takes a lot of damage as well. Oh, he might actually have to pop his... Oh, he doesn't have to use Cold Embrace or anything. That would be bad. He he obviously has Tangos and all that good stuff. So, it is a dual lane for now here in the mid. And well, Jesse... Jesse's going to have a very bad time here in this lane. Um... There we go. A very bad time in the lane indeed. And uh, my pro sitting on uh, a good start here. He did show himself a lot in the lane here as he uh, almost bursted down Storm Spirit with the rest of his team. But, I mean, looking at this, Storm Spirit has definitely come back into this game here. Um, into this lane with seven last hits. He is uh, completely trouncing uh, Lashrak here so far. And he does have that bottle there as well. Uh, actually, so if there will be any action here, it will again be on the top here, as it is a two versus three lineup. Um, well, let's see. Is the Kells is going to go for G? As he does have that break, and uh, that is a lot of damage onto G. And I don't think he's going to be able to live through this. Oh, is he? Oh, uh, there we go. Does blink in in the end, and well, Vash, he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to block uh, Lakels, but uh, don't think it's gonna be a kill. Yeah, there we go. All right, so double damage for Wyvern, and well, my pro will pick up a a bounty rune. It was my pro, right? Yeah, correct. Well, that just means that Lakels will sit on like six tankos. <laughs> this guy. All right, and uh, let's see. So it looks like the mid lane has normalized a bit here so far. And uh, one for one. Wait a minute. Who, what? Did I miss a kill here? Wait, who died? Who uh, was that? Kunka? Oh, okay. We had another kill in that lane. Oh, interesting. I only saw the uh, kill on Dazzle there. It was the first... No, okay. Actually, okay, so it was first blood on Kunka. Oh, that's really good for Mineski. Alright, so Jesse. Gonna get found. By Jab and Fei Mao. Decent amount of damage. Actually, really good damage. She's only on half health right now. And uh, G. Gonna pull the lane. 
Just make sure that Jesse actually gets something out of this as well. Radiance bottom tower right. is under attack. Some good pulls here. Jules sitting on Aquila. Hmm. Jess wants to be a bit annoying here. <laughs> Jess. Jesse. What <laughs> that name reminds me of a Jesse! We need to cook. Breaking nice. bad. Alright, well, uh Oh wow. Alright, he might actually pay for that with his life here is uh Oh, it's actually not going to hit completely here. So, Feymao might be just fine. G, let's take a lot of damage here. The Shallow Grave will... Sa no, it actually will not save him. Oh, I completely missed the X marks the spot here. So, he is going to die off here. That is just such a good combo here from uh, Konga here as he can use that X marks the spot onto uh, heroes who are TPing back. Um, well, haha. <laughs> I mean, this lane isn't going to be the most interesting, but this hero is definitely going to be m so fun to watch later on in the game. And is it max or current? Um, I actually really want to know. Um, <clears throat> current health, okay. So 8% current health burn. Coming in from that Arctic burn. Oh, Jay. He's actually going to pick up Storm Spirit and go in here with him together. There we go. Almost found a kill here, but not quite enough in the end. A sentry coming down here. They really want to know if there are any wards here. They actually do find a ward, but the question is whether or not they are able to find it uh, actually um, there we go yeah so uh, word comes down but now they know that themselves that there is a ward here all right so split earth onto J might be a kill yep there we go not gonna be able to live through that shadow wave with that shadow wave rather and well it's good stuff for Mineski so far although trust has three kills but it is a, a tower down in the bottom lane here. Uh, Nyx Assassin is not really the best up against the Drow Win Wyvern combo in terms of of uh, keeping the onslaught of, of the creep waves back. But uh, uh, it's not really the job that he's been tasked with. It is just to get some farm up so he can become a threat later on in the game. Um, and he is actually level 6 already, which is really good. So he can... Uh, so there is definitely a lot of things uh, going the way for him in, in this lane here. Yeah. Alright, so Feymao and Jap going to go in and they actually find Oa. Oh, uh, and there we go though, Arctic Burn coming out from, uh, from him. Does not want to uh, engage into any such things here. Oh, this is annoying. So he's going to... He's going to sit pretty here. This is not going to be a quadruple stack. They really want to go on this here right now. Oa. Going to get found by Shadow Demon. But Oh, actually, there we go. Torrenden? Uh, not going to hit on anything here. Actually, Storm Spirit is very low on health here right now. Uh, he is going back. Well, in the top, Lakels. Up against Jules now, he actually rotated lanes. He's sitting on Aquila, Power Trust, and Wraithbane here, seven minutes into the game. 49 last hits, as well as that tower takedown. It is a really good start for him. Um, and there we go. That is Impale in onto Jules here. We're going to snowball in uh, more so uh, defensively, actually, than anything else. Jesse going to try to save Jules here. I don't think it's going to happen, though. We'll have to see. A lot of damage coming in. There we go. Man of War not going to be able to kill off Jules. He lives through that. And I am so surprised that no one dies. And this is actually... Does this have... I'm pretty sure it has like a... Uh, a custom... Effect or something. Because of the... Uh, because of this thingy or something. Right? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. Alright. Well. Uh, so, haha. <laughs> 
Actually going to get found by uh, some censure wards here. Or a censure ward, rather. Um, yep, there we go. Oh, excuse me. Actually, I've had the net graph on all the time here. If that's been bothering you guys... Uh, let me just take that right off. Okay, so G, Jules, Jesse, and J. Sounds like a start of an excellent sitcom. But no, it will be a gank attempt, and it's not going to do anything. As anti just sniffs it out, he's actually going to go down into the bottom lane instead. And I really like this decision here, and actually the rest of his team is coming out here as well. So they might actually really want to go for some heavy aggression here on the bottom lane. Or just take down a tower. The Kells and a Ring of Health. Gonna be able to finish his perseverance soonish. Um, he has he has good farm here. He also has a kill to his name, but uh, no towers as of yet. So that is really not. Uh, there's no extra gold from 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 that department. And yeah, well, looking on the side of Mineski here, I mean, they have they have two towers to their name already, so uh, yeah, definitely a better situation for them. All right, there we go. So it's going to be sitting on 1,400 gold. A nice last hit here from him. Well, Mineski, they're just going to answer back with another tower. We'll see whether or not it happens here as Lightning Storm comes out from my pro. Dark light. Looks like they're backing off for now. Potentially trying to harass Antimage, maybe get a kill onto him, but yeah, still it's not going to happen. He just TPs back into top. Well, this is so nice. Uh, he recognizes that it, there are heroes in the top. He goes to the bottom, takes his team with him, takes some towers. Um, when that is done, recognizes that there is no one top. He's just going to go back. Uh, so, yeah. Good stuff coming out from him. And Yeah, Lakel is at some point very soon going to be sitting on a battle fury. Oh, smoke out here. Going to be able to find G. Split Earth coming out. Is going to hit onto G. Cold Debris comes out. Might be able to live through this. Right now is actually going to be looking very grim for him. My pro who goes down first. And now Feymao going to be the next target. Signature. A lot of trouble. And that's two kills going their way. Oh, plus a tower. This is just really good. They're going to have to rely so heavily on Anti-Major later in this game here. Uh, there is no other way of putting this. Oh, my God. Alright, he's uh, gonna find G. Oh, actually, does get the shallow grave off here. Will he get the kill? Yep, there we go. Oh, that is just. He probably would have died off anyway, seeing as he'd had to go all the way this uh, way around, and that zip isn't actually that far away from here. Uh, from here. To, to, to over here. It's not that much of a mana difference. Um, and he didn't have another Vendetta. However, it could have been done a bit better. Um, but yeah, he gets the trade. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And he gets some mana boots onto him as well. Um, will we see Guardian Greaves on Nyx Assassin? Or is it going to be like a uh, Kunkamek or, or something? Those are the two heroes that are probably going to go for that. Without a doubt. Um, or Guardians one of them, rather. I mean, mech. No. Like, I mean, if it's going to be Nyx, it's going to be Guardian Greaves. If it's Kunke, it's the Force support, and he's probably just going to go for mech. Um, but, yeah. Top tower is under attack. All right. An award being found here. Uh, 
that signature trust placed. And I will Mineski getting ready to try something onto Jesse here, but uh, yeah, he is too far away. Simple as that. He uh, he didn't want to be any more aggressive than that. And, well, that is a very very good decision. I feel like they take really good uh, th their decision making right now. Signature trust is extremely good. Um, uh, several times in this game, there could have been kills that uh, would have gone in onto Trust's lineup here, namely on Anti Mage and um, uh, yeah, as you saw here, Lashrak as well. But uh, yeah, they they uh, they recognize this. They kind of I don't know their midichlorian levels are, are too high, I guess. And um Alright, so Jesse. Oh actually, haha. <laughs> gonna get found by Jules here. The vendetta is gonna be able to save him here. There is no Oh actually up top him out. One more. Yep. There we go. And it doesn't even have any extra damage or anything, it's just because of the precision or that trolley deals close to 200 damage. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's just so scary right now. And Anti-Mage, he should be sitting on a Battle Fury, like, very soon. He does have the uh, goal to buy it, but... Actually, wait, d does he? Uh, have, has it changed? I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, okay, it changed a bit, but I mean, he still has the gold. Yeah. Um, or should have had, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright, uh, okay, so, let's see here. Haha, <laughs> getting Winter's Cursed. Jules, will he TP? Or will he be able to? Yeah, I think he will, okay. Alright, oh well. Might be in some trouble here. He's not going to be able to Arctic Burn away from this one. No, 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 no. Why, why are you guys going away? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Calling a brace in. There we go. A kill going the way of Signature Trust. Something they really need right now because their towers are dwindling away. And, uh... Yeah, this Drow is actually sitting on all uh, Lakel's... He is going to go down. What... Ah, uh, this is not looking good for 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 Mineski, for sure. Even Drow, he's sitting on an S and Y now, almost. Um. Wow. Yeah, and three towers to their name, whereas uh, Signature Trust can only boast one in the bottom here. So I mean, all right. All right let's look a bit on the uh, on the net worth here, as uh, Signature Trust gets another. Kill here in the bottom lane. <clears throat> and uh, well, he is sitting comfortably in the lead right now. The thing about Anti Mage is that you want to have some tier 2 towers still remaining whenever you come online here because you want to trade towers, not tier 3s, but you want to trade tier 1s and 2s. When it comes to tier 3s, you want to trade tier 3s. Um, otherwise, it's just really bad. If you're in a situation where it's a more, where it's a better situation for you to trade tier twos than threes, for it, it to trade tier threes for for getting a tier two on on an anti mage, you're in a very bad situation. Like it's nigh uncombackable, <laughs> if that is a word. <clears throat> and uh, well, oh well, uh, not too many items here, but. Uh, He should be getting some at some point. Maybe a Glimmer Cape for staff. Something like that. That is a double stack here on the Ancients. Not the biggest stack in the world, but it'll do. Drow Ranger with that Morbid Mass, so she is going to have some lifesteal. And uh, well, let's see here, Fei Mao. 
just walking around with the Kells here. They really want to make sure that he doesn't die off here. And look at this. Like Kells is just... Like Kells is just uh, boot swapping here. Or tret, tret, um, stats swapping here all the time. Oh. There we go. J. Radiance bottom tower. And uh, my pro on Yule Scepter. Oh, that's a bloodstone for a storm spirit. That's really bad. And all of a sudden, triple stack here. Probably gonna go to Drow Ranger. Uh, whenever they feel like going in, trolley. To go on to Lakels. There we go. <laughs> That is some sick mana uh, disruption. So no kills in the top here, with the exception of Shadow Demon. But it is going to be a one for one here. So Antimage lives, it is a one for one. And they do TP out here. Lashrak that is. Haha. <laughs> well he finds Storm Spirit. They could actually go for a kill here. Onto Trolley, but he fails the Impale! And now X going to go in, Bloodstone going to be used by Storm Spirit. Well, that's going to be sitting on six charges instead. Um, yeah, not the best situation here to be sitting on uh, six charges, but I mean, it's better than uh, than giving farm away to the anti-mage. And it looks like Leshrac is going to go for Bloodstone as well. Bit too soon for Octarine, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, my pro. Yules? Oh, no! Wait, he actually did use it. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. He used it, but it didn't go on to Winter Wyvern. I'm, I'm heavily confused as to what just happened there. I mean, usually you'd see the animation somewhere else or something, but wow, that's interesting. All right. So, Jules and Jay... Gonna go on Roshan here, probably gonna be one of the faster Roshans uh, that we see. Weave out onto Jules and Trolley. And this is just no damage on Jules here right now. And I don't think it, they can contest this right now. The Torrent doesn't even hit on anyone. And uh, that is a Roshan down. Like Kel is gonna try to. Oh, he's gonna try to find it, but like as he goes down, this is the anti-mage! And now, disruption onto Jay Feymao, he's gonna try to get out, but he goes down as well. In a matter of, yep, just a few auto-attacks here. And I'd say two for one, but it's the anti-mage that goes down. Wow, he wanted to snatch that Aegis, but nowhere is that to be found. And, well, I think that's just gonna be like a tower. He is sitting on Yasha here, anti mage that is, but uh, yeah, they need more time. They need more time just in general here. And tier 2 is already going down. Oh no, Kunkka as well. Oh, my pro. Yeah, my pro is on 10 charges again. Talk about going into a very good situation from a bad one. Um. Yeah, and I mean, I, I'm not really sure what they can do here right now. Buyback does come out, and I think Jules should just back out right now. Yeah. It's not in deny range or anything, and they're just fine. G, though, gonna be fine by Hehe. <laughs> a bit stun. A small stun coming out here. Alright, so that's gonna be the uh, fight here. Jules gonna be the first target. Ship is gonna be able to hit on him, but Shallow Grave comes out. He's gonna be able to live for now. He does not have that Aegis on him actually here right now. Split Earth does come out, he does die. Now Jay is gonna be up to him to actually get a better fight out of this before heroes go down on the side of Mineski. And Jay, he's gonna have to use that Aegis for good now. That's a kill. A double torrent here. A 4 for 3, it is a better uh, trade for Signature Trust, though. And, well, Anti-Mage, whenever you're behind, like, a 4 for 3 is definitely, definitely good for you. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a 4 for 3, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Alright, so Lakel's gonna have to get out on this map uh, again. He, he really needs to not be content with only farming the jungle creeps here right now. But at this rate, there's nothing really he can do about this. Um, he's really he's really in a bad 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 situation because Storm Spirit is everywhere on this map. He now has or Orchid Bloodstone and a BKB he just finished. And now he's gonna go on Lakellas again. He just have that BKB though. He's probably gonna have to pop it now. There we go. And Lakels still gonna be the target. He does get the kill onto Shadow Demon and he gets stunned up by Lakelos here. Oh, will he get the kill? Oh, they're gonna chase him down. A bottle is up onto him. There we go, that's the kill. Yule Scepter onto Storm Spirit, probably gonna go down Torrent, Impale and Split Earth, everything comes out onto him. And now Jesse, gonna be a return kill here. Oh, well, I do see a Shallow Grave onto uh, Jesse. I do believe that is just too much damage here right now. And uh, there we go. So it is a two for two, but definitely worth it for Maneski to trade as much as possible. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, or excuse me, for a signature trust, this is definitely worth it for trust to actually trade right now because uh, Maneski is definitely in the lead here. Um, looking at look, looking at this right now, I mean, <laughs> haven't even looked at the net worth here right now, and it is pretty obvious here. 10k experience, 12k net worth. Um, it is a really good game for Maneski, but uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, training the anti-mage always really really a really sad situation for them um, but they're gonna look to see uh, how they can come back into this game here it is really just anti-mage going out on these lanes here and finding towers uh, there is nothing r much else to it right now I feel um, it's gonna be hard yep yeah, but I mean, he's going with his team right now, and he really doesn't need to do that. He's, or that's no, that's what he does not need to do. He he needs to like four plus one and just kind of push out everywhere. But it's just so hard here up against the sh storm spirit with uh with an Orica here. Uh, like that's five seconds of damage onto anti mage here. Um, and he's not tanky enough to actually uh be able to to live through that right now. And yeah, as a consequence, I mean, the whole of his team is just gathering up here together with him. And, uh, well, they're gonna go for a tier 2 tower. Fortify comes out. And it is a tier 2 in the top that goes down. Jewel is just gonna keep on the aggression. And they might actually have to trade some Raxes here. Um, Fortify does come out here and it does save this range Rax. It is not the most important Rax in the world, but uh, it is still a Rax. There we go. Anti-Mage is back. They are ready to go on this, and this time Aegis is not up on anyone. Feymal, he cannot use Disruption. Glimmer Kit was used a bit too uh, slowly here onto Shadow Demon. And now it's two kills here. Buyback comes out. Two buybacks from Trust comes out. And Trolley, or Jay rather. Takes a lot of damage here. Another silence comes out onto Lakellas. There's nothing he can do. Colon brace on Jay. He goes down. The mana void is too good. Three heroes. Four are actually still living through this here by Maneski on the side of uh, of the Radiant here in Laheha. Uh, Alright, so that is uh, Rax is down. And. Uh, yeah, 15,000 net worth over that in favor of Maneski right now. And guys, I think we might be going into a game number three. <clears throat> 520 damage. That is what uh, for Shadow Poison stacks gives you. Or something like that. All right, Ancients being killed off here. Aegis, oh... Okay, Nyx, very aggressive here. Okay, they're actually going to go on this uh, fight here. So they do almost kill off the Wyvern here, but he lives through for now. Jesse, going to be the next target here. Coldebrace comes out onto him. Now Jay is going to go for Lakels. The Disruption comes out onto him, though. He he, going to be the next target. Troll, he does find the kill. And now Yule's onto Leshrac. 
that's going to be another one. Really good fight for Maneski so far. Two for one. Will they find anything more? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, dear God. Jules. Going to head up the assault here of Maneski. Going into this tower. He is really not that scared of, of Trust's lineup right now. He is uh, just going in here. Uh, they do have the rest. He does have the rest of his lineup here at his back. But um, and yeah, look at this. Like he has enough for butterfly SNY BKB Akila. He's just he's too big here for a signature chest to actually deal with. And yeah, GG gets called by Lakellas. And guys, we're gonna go into a game number three here, the last game between Maneski and Signature Trust. And well, that is it, guys. So things are really getting very exciting as uh, as it is one, f one for one and uh, this is really starting to look like a, a good series here. Everything is so tense here. <laughs> Level 8 on Shadow Demon. Alright guys, so we're going to go into a short break before we give you guys the last game of today's MSI Dragon Battle here between MSI and Signature Trust. I am Edward. You can follow me at Hey Edward on Twitter. The rest of my cast and team can be found at Facebook, t uh, Facebook Twitter, Hitbox, and YouTube on Rasmus TV. We will upload VODs of today as well as yesterday on YouTube at YouTube at user at rest is T E E V E E. So go ahead and follow there, guys. We'll be having those games up in uh, later on today. Uh, that is about it, guys. Short break, and we'll be right back.